color. I have yet another TV haul. This one was one I paid for, but I'll put coupons and stuff in the copy and links if I can find them. So this is what I bought, not the influencers. So I got, they shipped it separately, the small one and then this big Jimbo one here. So I'll show you the little one first. This is a ice mold, awfully small though. I thought it would be bigger. Yeah, this is very small. I'm not feeling this, I don't think. This is an ice mold to make a grenade shaped ice cube. I don't know. That's not very big. No, I'll try it. It was they were not expensive. I don't know, it's very small. So I like to have when I have a cocktail, a big ball of ice. But this is not that big, so we'll see. Maybe I do two of them. And I don't remember what this was. Two or three dollars. It's it's silicone, it's kind of cool. And then this is a oh, this is a beauty device. I saw, what was it, Hot Mess Mama had one of these, and it's supposed to be for your neck and your jaw and anything else. I think it's got light and, uh, what is that other thing? Something else. Lights and some other kind of jazzy thing to help with your anti-aging process. Let's see here. Let just take this out and see what it looks like. This was not very expensive either. Wrinkle neck beauty device. There it is. And I think it's rechargeable. Oh, there it is. There's all the infos. Lighten frown lines. Lymphatic massage. Dilution of grain. I guess that's skin tone. Desalination necklines. Huh. And here's all the other stuffs. Oh, sonic vibration. IPL rejuvenation, deep cleaning, nourish something, import, positive and negative ions, EMS microcurrent, oh, microcurrents in one, and something else. We'll just see what this looks like. Is there a charging cord? No. Oh, here's the instructions right here. Oh, there's the charging cord. It flew out. But, let's see, some of these are usually charged up again. Let's see what this is. No? Yeah, it's not charged. I will charge it up and let you know. See, I think it's got light. It had red and blue thing here. I will be right back. <laughs> My timer for the oven. Uh, I will check back with you on this and once I get it going. I'll go get it charged up. So next, I have another charging tech situation. I'm not looking for charging cables at the dollar stores. They're all sold out, which is strange. Maybe they're making them all and selling them on Timo and not letting the dollar store have any. This is a really cool charging cable that's got a dragon head on it, and I think it lights up when it goes, and this was very inexpensive as well. But it's nice and long. Sometimes I want a nice long one, and this is a C-type cable. So hopefully that won't go kaput on me. Oh, this is a pair of cool socks. Nice little bag. Oh, these are really snazzy. Oh gosh, these are cute. These are pink elephant cocktails. Oh, I love these. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna send these to someone for their birthday. This will be fabulous. And I know he'll wear them. Oh, these are so cute. I love pink elephant stuff. <laughs> oh, that's cute. What a great design. Okay. I know where that's going. Very nice. And I'll show you. Ooh, I got all kinds of stuff here. This is one of those here. 
Ooh, I gotta move my stuff back. Bog, they have these bog bags, which I didn't know anything about. <clears throat> Someone from another part of the country told me how popular they are. I don't ever see them here. Maybe in California. This is the big one. Let me see if I can get this. Ooh, this is the big, big kahuna. So, I'm getting out of here. I thought this would be awesome for carrying my stuff back and forth to the beach. Wow. Instead of in my backpack thing. This has more room in it. It has, ooh, let's see. It has the handle things. It's big. This was the big one. In the light green. I really love the light green, and so did everybody else. I just search and search. So these go like that, oh, like this. Like that. This is a good size, see? Big. And then they you can put your gibbets for your, I think they're the same size. Let me see. Or perhaps I'm right here. These gibbets, these might be, oh yeah, these are bigger. So you need to buy special gibbets for this guy here. So these, these Crocs ones don't fit. At least the ones I have. But that's okay, I can find them. That I bet I know where I can find them is on Timo. So that's very nice. I like that a lot. And carry a lot of stuff in that guy. And then I got a pink one too. They filled it up with stuff. Look at this pink one, too. That I thought would be kind of more purse shopper tote like. And this good size, too. That's pretty nice. Oh. This one, see, this one's much smaller compared to this one. And it's got this bottom track thing, and I hear you can wash these off if they get grungy or weird. And if you want to get like these uh, bends out of them, somebody said to just stick them out in the sun, and it'll blop back to its original shape. So I will. Do, we actually have some sun here today, which is unusual. So, oh, I like this pink one too. And they go like this. There we go. I like it. And that's the inside of that one. And they have dividers that you can buy to put in here if you want a divider. Some have like a little uh, tray you can put on top. There's little uh, cups and hooks and all sorts of neat things. So I like those. And these are repeat buy. That I got, or, these are art supports that I put in my props. I got the white ones. Look at using it already. It's so nice. Look at this. Hello. Oh, I got them in white because the black ones, if you go barefoot, this black comes off on your feet. On your feet. So you have to scrub it off, which is tedious and not, not that fun. But these are good. I like these for me. Did I just, oh, I got two pair. Two pair. All right. You just fill this with garbage and take it out. You get taking out the trash. There we go. So two of those, and then I got these for Mr. Retro's likes these insoles. You know he could double these up even, and these were like eighty-eight cents. It, even thin, you know they're not real thick, but they're not real thin. Even thin crummy ones that are like neoprene thin are like seven or eight dollars at the stores here. So he will be checking these out. And I got him in this kind too. See, these are kind of nice. These are kind of thick too. Yeah, I think these were like 88 cents or a dollar 19 or some darn thing. And you can cut them to fit, which is nice. And this these I got. These I saw. Hot mess mama got these. These are like when you're washing your face in the sink. 
and it, the water comes down when you wash, wash your face and they go like that and the water comes down and it goes up your sleeves. Ate that. So I might need another pair of these for the beach. I'm going to try them out. Those are very nice. And these were like a dollar. So super nice. And let's see. this is a liner holder that goes in one of these bags. Because you can get all these little liner things. There we go. Oh, it's not bad. It's not too bad. And it's got a, a thing where you can fetch it in and out. So you fill this up. It's got a pocket. You can stick your phone. It's got a zipper here. That's pretty good, you know. You want to put your mace or something in there. Your taser. And, oops, stick it in here. Oh, that's not bad. And you get that filled up, you still got extra room. So that, I like it. These bags are neat. And let's see, what's this? I have no idea what this is. 3D, oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I do 3D printing. And this is a wrap that you put your spool of PLA stuff you're using to print. And so you, and it sits on here and it just spins around like this. Filament holder. These were very inexpensive as well, which is nice. And oh, my mom got one of these. Fly pins, I liked it so much, I got me one. I thought it was very pretty. And you can even put this on a necklace. Because I don't usually wear pins, I end up ripping them off. So I like this. And look at more garbage. It's useful already. You can just load up all your garbage in this guy. What a swell contraption. And lastly, this got kind of bad. This was on back order, <clears throat> and they just got them back in, but I thought this was dark. Let me get this stuff off. It's creating a glare. This is like a vintage Halloween tin graphic, tin litho type sign. And this was like, I don't know, $4, $3. I thought it was very cute. It kind of reminds me of those Bisel die cuts that you can find every once in a while. Not so much anymore, and it's just on a tin thing. So that's what I've got. So I will see you later. Bye-bye.